everybody in YouTube land. Nintendo here again with another pickup video. Um, of course, many more video games. Uh, I just got a few this time uh, from a little trip I took to the coast. I actually got this stuff at the same time as my last video uh, and uh, just didn't want to cram it all into one video and make it huge. So without further ado, uh, before I left on that trip, I actually went to Goodwill and found one lonely item there that I wanted and that was uh, F-22 Interceptor for Sega Genesis. Normally, I would not pick this game up because it's crappy and not worth a damn thing. However, it is actually sealed. So that was pretty cool, seeing a sealed Genesis game in a Goodwill for just a couple bucks. Uh, never actually seen that before, so that was pretty cool. Um, I actually already had that game, but I think everybody that has a Genesis has that game. So anyways, on the way to the coast, we went to Grant's Pass and... Um, we went to a game store where there's actually a couple of them in one city, and they're called Game Swap. And um, the first one uh, sounded like they were shutting down soon, or maybe they were remodeling, but they didn't really have much of a selection at all. And um, I really didn't find much there. In fact, the help wasn't very helpful either. So uh, I only did actually pick up one little thing, and that was the Fantasy Star Collection for Game Boy Advance. Um, this is really cool and something I've been after for a little while. Um, it's actually Fantasy Star 1, 2, and 3. Um, these are basically Sega's answer to the Final Fantasy series and a very, very good series it is. It's kind of sci-fi-ish um, and very ahead of its time graphically. Um, so after Game Swap number 1, we went to Game Swap number 2. There's another one in Grants Pass and this one was much, much better. Much better selection, uh, a lot more retro stuff, very helpful staff, just a really cool place, good prices. Um, and there I scored three things. Uh, another Sega Genesis title, which would be Shining in the Darkness. And this one had a really good label. I've never actually seen this one out in the wild, so I figured I should pick it up. Uh, really excited to play that one. And then also related to Fantasy Star as well, here we go with uh, Fantasy Star Universe for PlayStation 2. I've never even heard of this game, but looking at the back, it really looks a lot like uh, Fantasy Star Online for GameCube. I have Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2 for GameCube, and it is amazing. It is a really cool game. This looks very similar and was really cheap, so I don't know if it's a crappy game or what, or maybe it just didn't sell well, but I am really excited to play that one. I've really been into the Fantasy Star stuff lately. Uh, the last thing I got at Game Swap number 2 was Nostalgia for DS which is a very classic RPG, very much like Final Fantasy or Dragon Warrior, uh, more like 3D though, graphics like um, the Dragon Quest games for DS. Um, really cool, I've been wanting it for a while, it just looks like a cool game. And the screenshots I've seen of it look really cool too. So that's it for game swap number two. Uh, so once we got out of the valley a little bit and uh, we passed Roseburg, we went to a little town in between Roseburg in Winston. I don't remember what it was called. It might have even been Winston. I don't remember the name of the store, but the people were really, really nice. Very small selection, but they were very, very nice people. And uh, they let bad dudes go for me for a very cheap price. Unfortunately, it does have CT written on the front. Thank you once again. And actually, lucky enough, I have CT written on the back too. I am so lucky. But Bad Dudes is something I played a long time ago in the arcade. Um, when I was a kid growing up in California, there was a 7-Eleven, and the three arcade cabinets they had right next to each other were Street Fighter II, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Four Turtles in Time, and Bad Dudes. And I loved all three of those games, and now I own them all, so that's pretty awesome. That's all I got from that random store. Like I said, they didn't really have a huge selection or anything like that. Um, but we did stop at one more store, and I picked up a few things there, and that is a place called Video Games Plus. Um, I believe this is in Roseburg. I'm not really sure. can't really remember exactly where it was from. Pretty sure it was Roseburg. And uh, they had a really good selection there. Um, no Sega games, though, and I was looking for Sega games, so it was kind of odd that they didn't really sell much Sega stuff. But they said they didn't sell much Sega stuff when they did have it in. It took forever for it to move, and that really surprised me because where I come from, Sega stuff moves pretty good. Anyways, what I did find there was um, a good NES title that I've been wanting for a while, and that is The Legend of Kage. And uh, pretty cool game. You jump like 30 feet in the air, <laughs> just over and over trying to slash ninjas, and 
it's it's pretty cool but really really hard to figure out and uh, all the levels start to look the same after a while um the next thing I picked up, I picked up completely on a whim, um, honestly, because it looked like one of my favorite games ever. And I could be completely wrong, I have not actually tried this game. Um, I'm very curious to, but haven't gotten a chance to yet. But it's called Heavenly Guardian for the PlayStation 2. And when I look at the back of this, it looks kind of like a cute em up I'm not positive it is, but it kind of looks like... Uh, Pocky and Rocky, which is a shoot 'em up but with really cute characters, hence the name cute 'em up. And um, I, I don't know, this looks really awesome, so I'm really excited to play that. It was not very expensive at all, um, and it's in pretty good shape, too. In fact, I, no, it's not complete. No manual, but the disc was in great shape. And the best thing I picked up all weekend was something I honestly already owned, but it was such a good deal, and to see it at a video game store where they know their prices so well, it was kind of surprising. Um, and that is Star Wars Battlefront for the Xbox. Actually, Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the Xbox. It wouldn't be such a big deal if it was one, or if this was for PS2. Uh, most people do not realize that Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the original Xbox is actually kind of an expensive game. It uh, usually goes for about $35, $40 on eBay, Amazon, and I've sold about four copies. Um, it's also a, a really good one for trading. People are always looking for this game, so I was very happy to pick that up. I believe it was twelve dollars so um, yeah that was a good end to the uh, little trip for getting video games so that's pretty much it for my little pickup video I'm gonna do another one very shortly because I did get another good score recently um, and I can't wait to share that with you guys so do me a favor if you like the video please subscribe below um, there's also a button down below where you can like the video and that'd be great if you can give me some likes Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys again next time.